IGCSC Biology addressing syllabus statement 411 and here we're looking at pollution of the air by sulfur dioxide and carbon monoxide so sulfur dioxide first Sulfur dioxide, the formula for which is S for sulfur and O for oxygen, SO2. Now, sulfur dioxide as a gas is added to the atmosphere when we have the combustion of fossil fuels in our factories. The burning of fossil fuels such as coals and oils, results in gases given off, which are SO2. Also, a significant contribution to SO2 production comes from vehicles. And the combustion of oils and petrols and gas. So that also contributes SO2. In the atmosphere, sulfur dioxide combines with water vapour, combines with water, and forms what is known as sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid is found within the water which condenses as clouds, and when it rains, like this, then this is what we call acid rain. Acid rain affects plants and animals in a variety of ways. It's commonly observed that trees and plants are often burned or call it burned by the direct effect the sulfuric acid on the surface. This is in conifers. We often see that the top of the tree is actually dead like this. So the sulfuric acid directly. Another way in which it can affect plants is when we look at the root system and the sulfuric acid. Here it comes, the acid rain, causes calcium ions and magnesium very important in chlorophyll synthesis to be leached out of the soil. This means that the plant can't obtain magnesium or calcium and suffers from dis conditions such as chlorosis, a, a yellowing of the leaves, and the plant can't grow. Now the precipitation, the acid rain precipitation, will eventually form streams and these streams will form into the lakes and the effect of acid rain in the lakes is to reduce the pH to make them acidic and the effect that this has is it brings about a release of aluminium ions and this has an effect on fish draw fish we can. Now we'll do. Okay, the fish. And the important thing is to try and show the gills of the fish because the aluminium causes a thickening of the mucus that lines the gills and reduces the fish's ability to take oxygen from water. In effect, the fish suffocates, and this process kills the fish. So the acid conditions in the lake result in the freeing of aluminium mines into the water, which thicken the mucus, which in turn reduces the oxygen, the fish's ability to take oxygen from water, and so the fish suffocates, the fish die. This is the effects of sulfur dioxide. 
So now quickly on to the second gas, carbon monoxide. This is produced when fossil fuels such as coal, uh, more particularly gas, are burned with insufficient oxygen. So we get CO, carbon monoxide, that's the formula for carbon monoxide. And what carbon monoxide does is it combines with hemoglobin inside red cells. This is a red blood cell and forms a molecule called carbaminohemoglobin and the problem with this is that it blocks hemoglobin from carrying oxygen. So we're reducing the oxygen circulation. This is toxic and indeed too much carbon monoxide um, can be fatal. It's very difficult to get the carbon monoxide to actually be released from the haemoglobin. Carbon monoxide pollution.